by now you might be wondering what types of feedback are there or what are the protocols that feedback communicates with or what are the different form factors of feedback. These and a couple other variations are what we're talking about today. I'm Corey Foster of Valen Corporation. Let's see what we can learn. Let's start with a couple variations because these will apply to all the different form factors that we're going to touch on here. Incremental versus absolute. I may have mentioned this before, but it's definitely worth mentioning again. If you have a guy running and he runs forward 10 steps and then he runs back 10 steps, that's incremental. But if he runs to an absolute of minus 10, that's absolute. And he's going to end up a total of 20 steps back from where he ran out to. So coming back minus 10 is incremental. Coming back to minus 10, the position of minus 10, which is 20 steps, that's absolute. Single turn versus multi-turn. I mentioned this before for absolute encoders. Uh, a single turn absolute encoder is a lot like just hitting a stopwatch and only having you know 60 seconds or one minute maybe or one hour showing on your stopwatch. Uh, and you can't keep track of it beyond that. Uh, Multi-turn, however, is more like a clock where you have the hour hand that keeps track of the hour. Now, it can only go up to 12 or 24 hours, depending upon the type of clock, uh, but that's multi-turn absolute encoders have that actual uh, problem as well, where they can only go up to so many turns. Uh, a lot of them go up to 4096, 4096 turns. A resolution, like the resolution on a, on a ruler, how fine of a distance can you measure? How many counts per distance? Oftentimes it's how many counts per revolution of an encoder or other feedback device. Protocols. There's a bunch of different types of protocols. There's the higher speed ones for motion control. There's lower speed ones for process con control. Uh, here's three that we've talked about. Uh, the quadrature signals for incremental. Um, analog for uh, like 0 to 10 volts, like a tachometer. Um, and then there's like sine, cosine types that are analog. And then there's a whole bunch of different communication protocol, uh, protocols, EtherCAT, Profibus, Profinet, SSI, serial ones like RS-232 and 485. I mentioned SSI, which is based on RS-485, DeviceNet, NDAT, which is proprietary, can open. A lot of these are um, closed protocols uh, more than others. Some are proprietary, uh, but there, there's a whole bunch of other ones out there as well. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. Now there's rotary encoders. Uh, this one would go on the back of a motor. It would bolt a screw onto the back of a motor here, and it would go onto a rear shaft of the motor. So that's a rotary encoder, but then there's other types of rotary encoders where this would couple to the shaft of a motor or maybe a conveyor belt um, or a rack and pinion or uh, the wheel of something. Uh, so this is typically going to be mounted onto mechanics. And so it's going to have a, a more industrial body. So it can be hit and hammered on, perhaps. Uh, it's going to have a different type of uh, communication protocol than, than, than this one. This one's going to be more for the motion control. Uh, so it's going to have like the uh, SSI or even EtherCAT that is high speed. Whereas this one here is going to be uh, more like the Profibus or DeviceNet or, or CanOpen, stuff that's going to be more for the process control. Um, definitely much different types of applications, but they're both rotary. There's linear ones, which have a lot of the same technology as rotary encoders, but this is a, a linear encoder here. Um, then there's other options of linear. There's LVDT, which has a lot of different meanings depending upon uh, the industry. This can mean a couple different things. Uh, all have the same type of feedback. There are wheels uh, where this wheel rolls on a conveyor or a surface and it translates from a rotary to a linear measurement. Uh, there's cables where this cable comes out. Again, uh, converting this linear into a rotary measurement. So there's basically a, a rotary feedback device in here and it just rotates with this cable that's pulled out. Uh, and then there's even laser ones uh, that can be used for um, high precision uh, measurement over a linear distance. And that leaves me with one other type that is worth mentioning, which is a ring. Now, I didn't put this with rotary because it's essentially the same type of technology as a linear encoder. It's just that the tape for the linear encoder is put on the outside of a ring. So it's a bigger diameter than 
the rotary ones that I was referring to earlier. I'm Corey Foster of Valen Corporation. I hope that helps. Reach out to us at the Motion Control Show or this email address here. We're happy to help.